Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are still working on taking over the L Cluster. That will take us a little bit of time, but first, we need to work a little bit on our colonies. We have an open building slot on our capital, and I would absolutely love to put in an admin office right now. We also need some housing, so we'll put in a city district. We are lacking in the minerals for that. Okay, I don't want to buy minerals, but at the same time, I feel like we probably should. Just get these going ASAP. So we'll do that. And this tech world here has a building slot available. Let's see, we have one housing available. Let's go ahead and put in our second moat harvesting trap here for now. This industrial world needs housing, so we'll put in the city district. Okay, and then Belgium Prime here. This needs a job and has a building available. So I would love to put in an alloy foundry. We're out of minerals again. Oh boy. Well, we should be nearly through this section, right? Yeah, that should hopefully be enough minerals. So we need an alloy foundry here. Excellent. On um, Batrack Prime, this is a generator world. We could use another generator district. Excellent. That will give us our housing and our job. We do have a building slot available here. Do we want to put in, say, a refinery building? That could be a thing. Well, we could do that. What one do we need the most of? Exotic gases? Okay, so an exotic gas refinery. That should work. Elthir Prime needs housing. We are out of minerals again. I think we're just going to tick forward for right now. Let's bump this up to fast speed. Excellent. I don't want to buy additional minerals. I really, really don't. Okay. So we need a... Let's see, this is a generator world. We need a generator district here. Excellent. And then over here, we just have a job available. This is a mining world. So we will build a mining district there. Excellent. There's our ground defense planning finishing up. That will be useful as well. That bumps up our naval cap a little bit. Okay, we could grab tile blocker clearance or society research from researchers. And that's what we're going to go for for right now. Hyper shields in 10 months. That's great. Canopus Station is working overtime on outputting cruisers and battleships for now. Wonderful. Now, I believe we're lacking a battleship for the first combat fleet. The second combat fleet is not doing so hot. Oh, did we bump up our fleets here? Yes, up to 90. We did. Good. Just wanted to double check that. So that does, of course, mean that we're going to be at 270 for our final naval cap, not counting our patrol fleets. So that's a thing. We do have this anchorage finishing up, which will give us another plus six on our naval cap. That's all well and good. We're missing 17 in our influence. There will be a council election soon. Okay. That's all well and good as well. Zeober Prime here. We have another job that we need. This is a refinery world. We will put in a mining district. We had necrophaging happen. That is all completely fine. Okay. We are currently saving up our alloys. And how long do we have before we can activate the Warforge again? Another 600 days. Okay. Noted. The first combat fleet is actually looking quite strong. It's up to 9105. That's really good considering that we are lacking... Was that a battleship that we just queued? No, that was a pair of destroyers. Our battleships are already queued. Okay, that's fine. So that means that our combat fleets are going to be up over 10k. Pretty dramatically over 10k, in fact. They're going to be like 12, 13k. Oh, and we're missing 10 destroyers. Okay, where is this? So they've re-attacked over here. As well as over here. Fine. 
We're gonna bring these guys and the first combat fleet. Actually, we're gonna bring all of our combat fleets, except for the second. There's no point in bringing the second. We're going to head out over this direction. That's gonna go through the L gate. Yeah, we should absolutely be forbidding entering the L gate for right now. Let's not go that route. Thank you very much. So you guys can come over here via conventional means. Did we not forbid entering? Yes, we did. They're still pathfinding through the L gate. Will they update if we tick? Maybe. Yes, if we tick, they update. Okay, that's fine. We're going to need to come over here. And we are going to also continue reinforcing this fleet. Now, there's only so much that we can do on that one. Hyper shields are now done. That's great. We can start working on our repeatable text there. We're probably going to want to grab perhaps shield capacitors. That'll be five months away. Okay. We're going to wait until these are finished to upgrade our ships with hyper shields. Um... These guys all went up to Zepok Vortex. I specifically saw that they were supposed to come over here. Okay, I guess it was just a little buggy. Whatever. No real concerns there. I guess that means that these battleships will catch up a little bit quicker. So, there's that. Yep, we are expecting them to do some damage over here. That is 100% planned for. A mining station has been lost. We're going to continue to reinforce the first combat fleet. That is just a single destroyer that, that we were able to queue up there. We definitely could use additional alloy worlds. There's no doubt about that. We may actually want to convert this from being an industrial world over to an alloy world. I think we've got plenty of, of civilian industries for now. Let's do it. Let's switch this to a forge world. I'm going to leave the civilian industry for now, I think. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to switch that over to an alloy foundry, but after the other one gets finished. Okay. So we are on our way over, and we will take these Tempest Shoals out eventually. There's our shield capacitors done. Particle lances would be nice to have. All of these things are good. Literally every one of them. We're going to grab Planetary Shield Generator for now. We are avoiding robots. Robots are actually outlawed for us, so I'm kind of surprised that we have that. But let's go ahead and grab Gauss Cannons. So that means it'll be a while before we can do any ship upgrades. That's fine. Okay, we are making good progress over here. I am noticing that this Tempest Shoal is here. And heading this direction, which is kind of convenient for us, actually. I'm completely fine with that. Sredma currently has an unemployed specialist, and that's okay. I think we'll upgrade this to a civilian fabricator to employ that specialist. Excellent. There's a necrophyte shortage on his Weiria Prime. We are going to grow a Taverite in a little while, though. And we may actually want to just pop in somebody from, say, Azure Chalice. We could pop in a Raxar. Nope, not from Azure Chalice. Okay. Maybe from... Elthir? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. No more Necrophyte shortage. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's just make our way over this way. And I do want to... I think we're going to start working on the second combat fleet right now. Now, if we hit, want to hit this button, it's going to reinforce, I think, the battleships first. Which is why it's saying we can't afford to reinforce the fleet. Okay, her chosen champions have expired. I want to keep them around. So let's sell off a few consumer goods. As well as a few volatile moats and extend the contract. Because we're going to need them to fight off these Tempest Shoals. Now these guys are probably going to come take out this station, which is actually really, really, really... 
Oh, you guys didn't do that. Our borders, I, I was under the assumption our borders were closed. How rude. How very, very rude. I just closed borders to them, but I just saw somebody... Okay, they teleported back out. Yeah, they're trying to grab these systems from us. We absolutely need to put a stop to that. If they grab this, Inbound. like, I'm going to be so mad. We can't stop the Tempest Chill. I'm hoping the Tempest Chill goes this direction. Actually, kind of either way would be good for us. As long as we don't lose this system, that's what we need to not do. These guys are still on their way over, but they're a long ways away. The first, second, and th and her chosen, that is. We need to make our way over this direction. We're so far away. Okay. Well, this is definitely going to be awkward. We did indeed lose this. We're going to need to be following up with our construction ship. A study has been but the problem is we're going to have to expand from Tiblik. Which way do they go here? That's what we got to know. Planetary shield generator just finished. That's fine. We can grab the zero point reactor or advanced combat rolls. We'll grab advanced combat rolls for now. But this is definitely the event that will, catali that will catalyze us into getting aggressive. Threadma currently has an unemployed specialist. We will upgrade to a civilian fabricator. Okay. Necrophaging happening. That's always nice. They... Went here? That's strange. That's very strange, in fact. Okay. Well, we can activate the Cybrex Warforge, and I want to. Let's go ahead and buy in a few minerals to make that happen. I want to probably sell a few rare crystals. Something like that. Activate that Warforge. Okay. We're going to spend all of that on reinforcing the second combat fleet. Excellent. And we'll work on getting these alloy, these alloy ships back online. Or rather, Alloy Worlds properly online. Excellent. Advanced combat rolls. And let's grab... Given these options, I think Plasma Accelerator is the best one to go for for now. They're in Isweria. Wait. They didn't attack this? Or did they jump in from Tiblik? No, they jumped in from here. They didn't attack here. Rude. Very rude. Very, very rude indeed. We're still quite a ways away here. Now they're just going to bombard Isweria. And that's okay for now. We'll allow that to happen. What all was queued up here? Cruisers and battleships. Okay. I've definitely seen a better better way to do that, but uh, <laughs> that'll do for now, I guess. Ship fire rate increased by 10%. That would be pretty good. Naval cap increased by 20%. Build cost reduction. All of these are very good for us right now, but I think we're going to go for fleet logistic logistics core for now. That bumps us up to 248 naval cap. We're doing much better on that front. Ooh, there's another 30 naval cap in 42 months. That'll get us pretty much to where we need to be. Excellent. We're currently making 86 alloys per month. I've definitely seen better on that front. Threadma Prime still has an unemployed specialist. 
I know, this is... I keep feeling like we already did this and upgraded this to a civilian fabricator. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. We're missing Necrophytes on his Weiria Prime. And that's going to be the case for a while. But uh, that's the place that's getting bombarded, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. The Shroud is currently available. Let's go ahead and check into that. We'll reach in. Actually, we don't have the energy credits right now. We'll wait on that. I don't really want to force that issue. We're making a lot of consumer goods. 136 of those are from trade. We're almost making enough that we can shift off of consumer good trade focus. Okay. Well, that is definitely progress. The third combat fleet... Yeah, I'm, I'm very upset about what's going on over here, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm very upset about their choices. We may end up having to fight these guys soon-ish. I want to check in on their current strength. They're inferior to us, both militarily and in tech. Okay, that's great. Okay, so, yeah, you were merging in. That's perfect. You're on your way in as well. How strong is this? That is a pair of battleships. We should wait for those. 100%. You're just chilling there. Okay. I feel like these Corvettes are no longer needed because they built a station there. Let's get rid of those. We'll stop paying upkeep on them. Excellent. The second combat fleet is not actually... Actually, we can afford to reinforce that with a single battleship. Now, that is two of the three battleships that we need. Okay. We're going to move our construction ship up. And we are... Currently looking at converting over to a more military economy. Is there a way to change our trade to get alloys instead? No, it's unity. Okay. Sounds good. Well, we're just waiting on these two battleships to come in here. And we want to make our way out. Excellent. Our construction ship is coming in a little bit behind, but that's okay. Here comes our battleships. And that is Gauss Cannons finishing up. We'll deal with that in a little bit. We do need to do some upgrades for sure. Let's grab Durasteel Armor. That'll be a nice solid upgrade for us too. Getting our armor upgraded. Excellent. Okay. So that's her chosen champions there. Yeah, that's 12k, and we are still lacking in the first combat fleet. Seven destroyers. Okay, sounds good. Let's get in here. This should, in theory, be sufficient to take out this single Tempest Shoal. In theory. Yeah, it looks like this is enough. We did take some losses. There's no doubt about that. Okay. We're going to need a science ship down here, ASAP. And here's the problem. We are now going to be lacking a ton of influence. We have to expand all the way from back, back here. That sucks tremendously for us. Because they managed to destroy Azweria Prime. That was really, really unfortunate. We have no repairs out here either. How strong are we currently? I think we probably don't want to destroy the Tempest Shoal that's out here, in hopes that it starts attacking the Thetclack regime. So, I think our best bet is to head over to Wasat. It's going to be quite a ways. 
but let's get started on that. We can enter the shroud now. And so we shall. In one of the lower planes of the shroud, we encounter a spirit that has ensconced itself behind some kind of powerful psionic shield. Leave. Let's attempt to penetrate it. We'll see what happens. We did not venture this deep into the shroud, only to be turned back now. After channeling all their psionic might, our telepaths were able to form a breach in the shield large enough for some of them to peer through. We do not know what those telepaths saw on the other side of the shield, but it was enough to permanently unhinge their minds. The sacrifice was not in vain, however, as the act of breaching the shield taught us how to generate a similar force field. If the technique can be refined, we may be able to form psionic shields large enough to encompass entire starships. That was worthwhile. 100%. Psionic shields? Yes, please. Let's go ahead and grab impulse thrusters. And we are going to want to upgrade our ships quite soon. But I think we'll wait. We have a battleship constructing here. I think we'll wait until we have plasma cannons done and we'll see how long it's going to take for psionic shields. I think that's what we'll wait on. But we absolutely need to start expanding back out this way. We've taken big losses over here. And we're probably going to have to do something about that militarily, is my guess. Let's grab Archimeters for now. Wait. We were supposed to get Psionic Shields as an option. That's Society Research. Okay. Noted. Tachyon Sensors, then. Okay, well, that's definitely going to be a while before we have that ready to go. So I think let's go ahead and upgrade our ships. This is our fleets. Let's upgrade our ships. On the Corvettes, we are good to go on all of this, although we should definitely have gamma lasers on here. Level 4 power generators and plasma thrusters. Oh, we don't have impulse thrusters yet, do we? We should probably wait on impulse thrusters. Well, that's 23 months away. Actually, let's not wait on that. We can put in level 4 armor, though, as well as... Oh, we only have level 1 afterburners. I know I saw level 2 afterburners, but I guess we did not grab that one. Okay, so there's the Corvette. And then, as far as all of this goes... Destroyers are pretty much good for now. Although... Hang on a moment. We should definitely be doing advanced combat computers. There we go. Okay, so this is currently set to pick it. The advanced combat computer is that one. Excellent. And we will put in Durasteel armor and hyper shields. Excellent. We've still got one power to spare to boot. That is pretty great. So we'll save that. For cruisers, we're going to go to Gauss Cannons. And I think medium phase disruptors are completely fine here. Yeah, that'll be okay. Let's go to advanced line computers. Durasteel armor. And we're probably going to need more power for these hyper shields. Yes, we are. We'll drop the regenerative hull tissue and instead... Put in an improved reactor booster. That's still not enough. We could drop the auxiliary fire control and put in a second improved reactor booster. That's a bit overkill. But until we get upgraded power, we'll have to do that for now. Okay, and then for the battleships, we're going to take these up to Gauss Cannons. Excellent. And this is all looking fine. We'll do advanced combat computers for our artillery. Durasteel armor. Hyper shields. And this is all looking completely fine. I'm going to ditch the regenerative hull tissue, though, and I'm going to put in a shield capacitor instead. Excellent. Okay, so the second combat fleet will go ahead and upgrade. There we go. So we'll get that started. 
Now, these guys will have to upgrade as well. Our chosen champions, we can probably safely... Oh, we can't disband it. <laughs> well, we're not paying for it anyway, so that's fine. Let's see. This is currently a trade station. Let's actually jump to there instead. So we're going to take the first, third... Yeah, we'll just go there. I mean, we kind of need to come back to Canopus, though. Once we have access to the Elgate, it's going to be so much simpler. So much simpler. Construction venture. However, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to continue building our way out of this crisis. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.